The year is 2025, and right now, as you're watching this video, governments around the world are quietly waging the most important war you've never heard of. It's not fought with bullets or bombs, but with something smaller than your fingernail that could determine which nation controls the next century. Welcome to the Global Chip War, where silicon is the new oil and Taiwan holds the keys to the kingdom. I'm about to take you through 10 escalating levels of this technological battlefield that's reshaping our entire world. By the end of this video, you'll understand why a tiny semiconductor could trigger World War III and how the chip in your phone might be more valuable than gold. But first, let me blow your mind with something most people don't realize. Level 1. Global Chip Shortage Level 1 begins with what seemed like a simple supply chain hiccup. The global chip shortage that started in 2020 wasn't just about empty car lots and delayed PlayStation releases. This was the moment the world woke up to a terrifying reality. Our entire modern civilization runs on chips, and we have absolutely no backup plan. Picture this. Factories worth billions of dollars sitting completely idle, not because they lacked workers or materials, but because they couldn't get chips smaller than a postage stamp. Automotive giants like Ford and GM were forced to park thousands of finished cars in empty lots, waiting months for the tiny brains that make modern vehicles work. Consumer electronics prices skyrocketed overnight, even washing machines and refrigerators became scarce commodities. But here's what's truly insane. This shortage revealed that virtually every piece of technology you interact with daily depends on semiconductors manufactured in just a handful of locations worldwide. Your smartphone contains dozens of chips. Your car has hundreds. Your home probably has thousands when you count everything from smart bulbs to coffee makers. When the chip supply chain broke, it didn't just inconvenience consumers. It exposed the fragile foundation of the entire global economy. Level 2. Dependence on Taiwan Level 2 exposes the most dangerous geographical concentration in modern history. Taiwan, an island roughly the size of Maryland, produces over 60% of the world's semiconductors and an astounding 92% of the most advanced chips. This isn't just market dominance, it's a stranglehold on the future of technology. Taiwan's semiconductor manufacturing company, known as TSMC, operates like a technological fortress. Their fabrication plants, called FABs, are engineering marvels that cost over $20 billion each to build. Inside these facilities, chips are manufactured with precision measured in atoms. The most advanced processes create transistors just 3 nanometers wide, so small that you could fit 25 million of them across the width of a human hair. But here's the geopolitical nightmare. China considers Taiwan a breakaway province and has repeatedly threatened military action to reclaim it. Meanwhile, the United States and its allies depend entirely on Taiwanese chips for everything from fighter jets to artificial intelligence systems. If conflict erupted tomorrow, the global technology sector would collapse within weeks. Level 3. Multi-billion dollar subsidies in the US and Europe. Level 3 reveals how desperate Western nations have become to break free from this dependency. The United States passed the CHIPS Act, committing over $50 billion to rebuilding domestic semiconductor manufacturing. Europe announced its own European CHIPS Act with similar funding levels. These aren't just industrial policies, they're economic weapons designed to reduce reliance on Asian suppliers. But money alone can't solve this problem quickly. Building a state-of-the-art semiconductor fab takes three to five years and requires expertise that takes decades to develop. Intel, once the undisputed king of semiconductors, is racing to catch up with TSMC's manufacturing capabilities. The company is building massive new facilities in Ohio and Arizona, essentially attempting to recreate Taiwan's semiconductor ecosystem on American soil. Level 4. Chips for Advanced AI Level 4 enters the realm of artificial intelligence, where chips become the limiting factor in human progress itself. The race to develop advanced AI isn't just about software, it's fundamentally about who can build the most powerful processors. Graphics processing units, originally designed for video games, have become the engines of AI development. Companies like NVIDIA have seen their market values soar into the trillions as demand for AI chips explodes. But these aren't just any chips, they're specialized processors that cost tens of thousands of dollars each and require the most advanced manufacturing processes available. The computational requirements for training large language models are growing exponentially. Each new generation of AI systems requires orders of magnitude more processing power than the last. This creates a feedback loop where AI development is constrained by chip availability and chip development is pushed by AI demands. 
Level 5. Geopolitics in the South China Sea Level 5 transforms the South China Sea into the world's most dangerous waterway. This isn't just about territorial disputes anymore, it's about controlling the shipping lanes that carry the chips powering global civilization. Nearly all advanced semiconductors manufactured in Taiwan and South Korea must pass through these contested waters to reach global markets. China's increasing assertiveness in the region isn't just about fishing rights or oil exploration. It's about positioning itself to potentially control the flow of the world's most critical technology components. Military analysts now game out scenarios where naval blockades could cripple entire industries without firing a shot at land-based targets. The ability to interrupt chip shipments provides unprecedented leverage over foreign economies and governments. This maritime choke point has become so critical that major powers are repositioning their naval forces and forming new alliances specifically to ensure continued access to semiconductor supply chains. Level 6. Vertical Integration of Manufacturers Level 6 reveals how chip manufacturers are frantically trying to control every aspect of production. Vertical integration has become the new strategy, as companies realize that depending on external suppliers creates vulnerability. Apple designs its own processors and works directly with manufacturers to ensure supply. Tesla has begun developing its own chips for autonomous driving systems. Even traditional software companies are investing heavily in custom silicon to gain competitive advantages. This trend toward vertical integration is reshaping entire industries as companies realize that chip design and manufacturing capabilities provide strategic advantages that can't be purchased on the open market. Level 7. Emerging Quantum Chips Level 7 introduces quantum computing, a technology so revolutionary that it threatens to make all current encryption methods obsolete overnight. Quantum chips operate on completely different principles than traditional semiconductors, manipulating individual atoms to perform calculations impossible with conventional computers. The first nation to achieve quantum supremacy in practical applications won't just gain a technological advantage. They'll possess the ability to break the cryptographic systems protecting everything from military communications to financial transactions worldwide. Market forecast. Quantum computing could be worth $850 billion by 2040. Level 8. National Security and Espionage Level 8 exposes the shadow war of industrial espionage and technology theft. Intelligence agencies from multiple countries are actively working to steal chip designs, manufacturing processes, and trade secrets. The stakes are so high that technological espionage has become a primary focus of national security agencies worldwide. Semiconductors aren't just economic assets, they're strategic weapons. Intelligence agencies worry about hardware backdoors, supply chain tampering, and the possibility of foreign-made chips being compromised. Level 9. Sovereign AI Competition Level 9 reveals how artificial intelligence itself has become a national security priority. Countries are racing to develop sovereign AI capabilities, recognizing that dependence on foreign AI systems creates unacceptable vulnerabilities. This requires not just advanced chips, but entire ecosystems of hardware, software, and expertise. Nations are now developing their own AI systems trained on domestic data, powered by domestically produced chips. This is called sovereign AI and it's becoming a matter of national pride and security. Whoever controls the hardware and the algorithms will control the next wave of technological dominance. Level 10, the chip that will reshape the global economy. Level 10 brings us to the ultimate prize, the development of neuromorphic chips that mimic human brain function. These processors promise to revolutionize computing efficiency and enable artificial intelligence systems that operate more like biological brains than traditional computers. The nation that first develops practical neuromorphic computing will possess computational advantages so significant that they could reshape the global balance of power. These chips represent the convergence of neuroscience, materials science, and semiconductor manufacturing in ways that could define the next century of human technological development. At the top of the chip war is the breakthrough that changes everything, a next-generation processor that's faster, cheaper, and more energy-efficient than anything before. This could be a hybrid quantum classical chip, a breakthrough in neuromorphic computing, or an entirely new architecture we haven't imagined yet. What level of this chip war concerns you most? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe for more deep dives into the forces reshaping our world. The global chip war isn't just about technology, it's about who will rule the digital century. Which country do you think will control the chip industry by 2040? Subscribe for more deep dives into money, tech, and geopolitics.